Hi, my name is Pam East, and today I'd like to show you how to apply sifted enamels. It's another method of applying enamels to your pieces. Um, I have some nice textured piece, earring pieces here, and it's really fun to use a sifted technique to get the enamel on them. I'll start by using a medium sifter. I'm going to do the back of the piece first. I'm going to do the counter enamel, and for that I like to use a medium sifter. If I use a smaller sifter, it's hard to get the counter enamel on evenly. It works better with the medium size. Only put about, only fill the sifter about a third full. If you fill it too full, it won't sift out well. I've already cleaned these pieces to prepare them for enameling. I'm wearing a glove so that I don't get my finger oils on the front of the piece. I'm going to apply some clear fire to the back. This is my counter, where my counter enamel is going. And I'm going to be pretty generous with it. And it's going to want to pool in the middle, but I'm going to show you how to apply this so that you still get an even coat. All right, so I've got that on there. And I'm going to kind of tilt it, and I'll be applying around the edges. And what will happen is that will pull the excess clear fire from the middle out to the edges and I'll end up getting a very smooth, even coat over the entire back of the piece. Now one thing you want to avoid is what I just did, and that's I covered up the hole with enamel. If I fire it like this and I end up with enamel in that hole, I'm not going to be able to put it on a jump ring later. Um, I'm going to take a scribe. I'm going to poke it up through that hole. It's kind of easier to see it from the other side than to come from the top. So I'm going to poke it up there, and now I can see where that hole is. I'll use a damp brush to make sure I don't have any enamel blocking the hole. Okay, that's ready to go. I'm going to put that on a little trivet, and it will go in the kiln, and that will fire my counter enamel on. The excess enamel goes back into your container, and by working over a sheet of paper, I can just make a little paper funnel here to pour the enamel back into the container. Okay, next up I'm going to show you how to apply the enamel to the front of the piece. Before I can sift anything on it, I need to put some more clear fire on it. This time I'm going to be using a 50-50 dilution distilled water and clear fire that I've put into a sprayer. And I need to mist it over this piece. Don't spray directly on your piece. Spray a little above it and allow the mist to settle onto the piece. Normally, I never do this over my work table. I do it under my work table, but it would be really hard for you to see if I was under my work table. The sifters have a little twisted handle, and the way I get the enamel to come out is by running my fingernail along that twisted handle. And I'm just going over the middle of this piece. And I'm leaving the edges kind of empty. With a little drifts over, that's okay. Now I'm going to come over here to the blue, and I'm going to do the blue around the edges. And I'm going to overlap them, and that's going to give me a little shading. Take care not to block the hole. If the hole does get blocked, again, just like with the back, you're going to use a little brush to clear it out. And then you'll set it in a trivet to fire it. And that's ready to fire. By working over two sheets of paper like this, I haven't had one color enamel contaminate the other, so I can, I'm safe to put it back into my little cups. Okay, so that's ready to fire, and then I'll have a sifted earring. If you'd like to learn more about enameling on metal clay, I recommend my videos. I have two, one for enameling on copper clay and one for enameling on silver clay. They are two DVD sets. They're about four hours long, and they give you an in-depth education in enameling 
There's three full projects, step-by-step -step detail on both DVDs. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you'll tune in for my next video. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.